We now live in the application economy, and in the application economy, the role of software has been promoted. Software used to be something that had a back office function, something that was used by internal staff and employees. But of course, in the application economy, software is used by your, your customers, your consumers. So software actually defines the relationship between your brands and your customer. And this is true for pretty much every industry vertical, where software has started to replace the need for traditional human interactions. And because of this new mission critical role that software plays, uh, the success of businesses now is absolutely dependent on the quality of software. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a brief overview of uh, CA technologies and the role it plays in helping organizations uh, leverage digital transformation to survive and thrive in the application economy. So in terms of digital disruptors, we see them in every industry sector. You may be old enough to remember going to a video rental store to rent a movie, and of course that industry has been not just disrupted, but destroyed by digital innovation and streaming media. Or in the financial sector, uh, we are, we've seen the likes of PayPal, which uh, kind of disintermediates the bank from its customer. It doesn't replace the need for a bank, but with PayPal, the bank loses sight of the customer. It gets a PayPal settlement to make rather than a customer settlement to make, and therefore loses sight of what the customer is purchasing. And in Europe, in 2018, we will see the biggest disruption to retail banking in uh, many years with the introduction of PSD2 regulation, which will mandate that banks open up their back office systems to work with uh, a new breed of financial uh, startups. The transportation industry has been disrupted by Uber and hospitality sector has been uh, utterly disrupted by Airbnb. Now, this is just the start. I mean, if you read this book, um, it kind of proclaims that we're, we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. So the real disruption has yet to come. So think about the automotive sector, the digital transformation that we've seen so far. We certainly see a lot of software in cars, the ability to connect your car with your iPhone. But real digital transformation will perhaps be when you no longer need to own a car when you can avail of car as a service. So autonomous cars that drive around by themselves and you can schedule them to pick you up at a predefined location and take you on your journey. That's transformation when you no longer actually need to own a car. Or in the financial sector, we, uh, we have the likes of uh, blockchain and distributed ledgers, which potentially have the capability to do away with the need for a bank. So in payment processing, the role that the bank plays is a trusted intermediary. Now with distributed ledgers and blockchain, you no longer need a trusted intermediary. So that's the real potential of digital transformation. So this is where CA technology plays. CA's capability is around helping large organizations in the application economy. If you want to survive in the application economy, you must sort of up your game when it comes to software. Uh, if you want to thrive, you, you're going to have to be able to perform like a software startup. So you've got to be able to identify what software is going to give you a competitive edge. You've got to build software to meet that spec and ultimately get it to the market before your competitors do. This is what digital transformation is about. And digital transformation is what CA Technologies enables you to do. Now, some organizations are better than others when it comes to digital transformation. Um, we recently conducted a survey through a, uh, uh, a partner to analyze over 1,400 individuals across a range of industries and geos. And the survey was intended to highlight you know, what does success look like in digital transformation. It measured a bunch of KPIs, such as how much software contributes to market competitiveness and the impact of software on customer retention, acquisition, and profitability. Now, throughout the survey results, there was a very evident theme around software delivery. Those who are successful display a clear appreciation of the role of software 
they tend to have taken steps towards improving their software delivery practices. They invest resources on strategic planning, on securing their enterprise, on modernization of legacy estates, on DevOps practices, and so on. So how do CA technologies help with digital transformation? To begin with, you've got to plan and prioritize. So in terms of digital innovations and transformation, what initiatives are we going to launch? You've got to be able to analyze your, uh, what is going to give you the best competitive advantage and then focus your resources, which are limited. You know, where do you spend your limited resources in terms of time, uh, employees and skills in order to generate the best return on investment? So CA has a capability uh, around project and portfolio management, which is explicitly designed to do nothing other than manage that process of planning and prioritizing. From this, we want to adopt agile practices. So the concepts of agile have been around for many years, and many of our customers are now adopting a scaled agile approach to delivering software. So once we have decided from our planning and prioritizing stage, what are the initiatives we want to get to market? We want to manage execution of those initiatives in an agile manner. So to minimize the disruption to getting these software products to market um, and maximize the visibility and be able to track the ROI from these investments. Now DevOps is a key thing with any digital transformation. Ultimately, we are talking about software delivery, and DevOps, of course, is all about being able to deliver software with uh, maximum speed, reduce the time to market, uh, eliminate constraints, and uh, get early feedback. So CA Technologies has capabilities around continuous delivery, which is about getting to software to market faster, removing constraints, and also providing the ability to ensure that you've got testing and development environments that meet the, uh, that meet your requirements. Monitoring is a key capability around DevOps, so the ability to provide feedback from your production environments, not just the infrastructure, but also the user experience of your end products. This is part of the DevOps portfolio. APIs are key to any digital transformation initiative. These days, digital transformation ultimately depends on APIs as the building blocks of new composite systems. So we have a API management platform that allows you to expedite the process of creating APIs, but also provide an API portal, a gateway that allows partners, employees, and developers to access APIs that are already available. Security is obviously a core thing for any digital transformation. We are talking about releasing new products, new software, perhaps exposing APIs. So you've got to be, you've got to be assured that this is not going to cause undue risk. Now, old school approaches to security tended to be around the notion of perimeter. So build a wall around whatever is considered sensitive. In the application economy, that approach just does not fit because that approach is dependent upon building walls and making it harder to access systems. In the application economy, you know, we're, we're moving towards ubiquitous access, where we want customers be, to be able to access the systems that we expose. So in the new application economy, identity is the perimeter rather than firewalls. Now CA has a number of capabilities to manage identity, to manage access, we can do traditional security controls such as strong authentication. We can do risk-based authentication. We also have interesting capabilities to protect against the notion of insider attacks. And of course, CA has got a range of capabilities around the mainframe. Now, the mainframe is not going anywhere anytime soon. This has been around for decades. It continues to be a system of, uh, of record. Um, and we have a number of capabilities to ensure that the mainframe maintains its, its longevity long into the application economy. Please click on any of these links to, uh, to get an overview uh, in more detail of any of these areas.